Welcome to New Way Air Bearings. We have another technology demonstrator to share with you here. This time, it's the New Way Air Bearing Seal. It uses our proprietary porous media air bearing technology, and it's meant to protect bearings in hostile environments from both wet and dry contamination. So, uh, oil and gas industry, say salt manufacturing, coal processing, uh, the steel industry, cement industry, places where the bearings really need to be protected from the nasty environments. So you can see the air bearing seal bolts up to this housing, which is meant to be like the bulkhead or the, the gearbox or the housing that would be containing the bearing that needs to be protected. It mounts a lot like a bearing isolator mounts, uh, but you'll see it's in a completely different class because of the external pressurization. Back here we have another block. This block is containing a three inch diameter air bushing. So this is a black housing because our imperial sizes are black and our metric sizes are blue. Now this air bearing is supporting this shaft radially in a frictionless manner, but it doesn't give it any axial support. And the shaft is cantilevered through the air bearing seal where we have face seal air bearings that are acting against a runner that is spinning with the shaft via an O-ring. So between the air bearing seal and the air bushing, we've created a plenum that we can actually pressurize and or fill with contaminants. So in this case, I've got a tube full of water. I'm gonna raise it up, give it a little head. You'll see the water start to flow into this plenum here. Once it gets up to the bottom of the shaft, you'll see the air that's coming out of the air bearing start to leak in. So the plenum continues to fill with water. You can see that the water level is above the top dead center of the shaft. The shaft is still spinning freely. There's absolutely no leak out of either side. So I'm going to turn off the valve that allowed the water to come in so that we can create pressure inside of here. Now you can see some of the air bubbles escaping, most of them from the bushing side. So they're flowing into this plenum. So as I choke off the vent and turn that off, you'll see this pressure gauge start to rise. The shaft is still spinning freely. There we've got two bar. The shaft is still free. And we've got two bar, 30 PSI air pressure inside of this plenum. And there's absolutely no liquid coming out of either end of this. So this is because we've got aerostatic bearing lands that are being pressurized to ex in excess of 30 PSI. And so this water will not pass those air bearing lands. So this is a very effective non-contact seal. So what's inside of the new way air bearing seal? First, we have a flange air bearing that's mounted in a housing. This would bolt up against the gearbox or casing. Then we have a runner. So the runner has an O-ring on its inside. It pushes over the shaft and spins with the shaft in a non-contact relationship with this air bearing face. And we have a spacer. The spacer's made just a little bit bigger than the runner in order to create a clearance between the two air bearing faces. So you've got the other air bearing in the cap. It goes over top. And those are the main components of the new way air bearing seal. Let's discuss the technology involved in the new way air bearing seal and compare it to conventional technologies like labyrinth seals. A labyrinth seal has a conductive path through it that is made up by the clearance between the rotating and non-rotating part of the seal. So if you have a pressure difference on one side to the other side of the seal, there will be a flow through that gap, no matter how torturous it is. Some labyrinth seals also try to employ hydrodynamic seals in order to create a better seal, or at least to keep the two halves of the seal from touching each other. This isn't really a good idea either, because hydrodynamic bearings have a low pressure and a high pressure side, and they're basically a pump. So you would potentially just pump contaminant right through the hydrodynamic seal. In this case, in the New Way Air Bearing Seal, we have externally pressurized compensated air bearings. So that allows for very high pressure in a small gap. 
which means these bearings are using higher pressures but at much lower flows to enable a very much improved sealing capability while reducing energy consumption.